Hello, my name is Darren Thomas and I am the Director of Educational Research Techniques. In this video, we are going to continue our experience with forums and I'm going to show you how to make a simple discussion forum in Moodle and then I'm going to compare a simple discussion forum with the standard, you know, general purpose forum that is found within Moodle. So let's just take a brief look at our um, objectives. So as you can see here, we're going, I'm going to demonstrate how to make a simple discussion forum, and then I'm going to compare it with, um, compare a simple discussion forum with a standard forum. And so how I will do that is for, I will um, log in as a student at one point during the video, and I will show you how you can respond as a student and what the teacher sees. So let's go ahead. <clears throat> as you can see, I'm already logged into Moodle. Let me make this a little bit bigger for you. And to make a new forum, you just click on, this little button here, is, it will be green at first, but when you click on it, it'll turn red. And then we're going to go down here and we're just going to make another forum in topic two. So click on add activity and then click on forum. And then we're inside the forum. So I'm just going to give this forum a simple name, example two, because it's my second forum in this particular uh, make-believe class. Now, a simple discussion forum, which is the feature right here for forum type, Basically, what it allows is, is that you have some sort of a question at the top of the forum and all the students can reply to it. In other words, students cannot make new discussions in this particular type of forum. Now, because there's only one topic in this forum, you must type some sort of a question or something in the description that will be the, the question that all the students reply to. That is what makes it kind of so much different from the, the standard form. In the standard form, anybody can post a new discussion and you don't really have to type anything in the description. So in my description, I'll just type something simple is like, okay, how was your day? Something very, very basic. Now the other features don't really have to be dealt with. I will discuss these in a future video. So essentially we're done making this the single simple discussion. So I'm going to click save and display because I want to look at it first, show you what it looks like. And so here it is. We have the name of the forum, example two. Uh, the first pro post you can say is basically me. And I have a question here, how was your day? Now, from the perspective of the student, all they can do is reply to this. Students cannot create new discussions in this. And actually even the teacher cannot create new discussions. A single simple discussion is focused on one single discussion. That's why it's called that. So now I'm logged in as a student. And so you can see example number two is right here. And so now I'm asking this student a question, how was your day? All the student can do is reply. And so I'll just put something simple, good. So they type in their message. And if they want, they, they click on post to form and this is good. So how was your day? It was good. So this is what the students can do. And of course, students can delete the response, edit it within the first 30 minutes, etc. All right, now I'm back logged in as a teacher. I just click refresh to show the new response and you can see the student's response right there. So that's the beauty and the power of the single simple discussion. Now, other students are, I can reply to what the student said or I can reply to it. But as I mentioned before, you cannot create new discussions. That is what is unique about the, uh, the single simple discussion forum. So I'm gonna go back to the homepage so that I can make this a little bit clearer so you can see the difference. Oh, actually, um, I'm going to open this in a new window right here as so. So this is the general standard forum that I created last week. Notice how you have the ability to add a new discussion topic. So if you create a new discussion topic, they will appear right here underneath or at the top of the ones that are already in existence. In addition to being able to make new discussion topics in the standard form, you can also respond and have discussions inside each discussion topic. That is what is unique. But if again, if you compare this to the single simple discussion, you don't have the option to make new discussion topics and you can only reply to the existing um, discussion that is in that forum. So this is the primary differences. Now, the question you're probably asking yourself is, okay, when do I use a standard general forum and when do I use simple discussion? Again, it's very hard to deal with that kind of a question because every teacher has different teaching circumstances and they have different goals in their teaching. The point of this video is not to try to tell you what to do, but to, to, to make you aware of the different options 
that are available when making a form in Moodle. So I hope that this video was useful. I hope you can see um, the uses of a single simple discussion and, and how it contrasts with the standard uh, general discussion forum in Moodle. Thank you very much.